I believe that business credit creates a huge advantage for business owners who can get access to it. And today I'm gonna to tell my story of how I got access to business credit. So I'm Prince Donnell, founder of Jack USA. We are a millennial based financial services franchise where we help you, the small business owner with your monthly tax and accounting, your insurance, and your investment options. We help everything. Now today, we're gonna to be talking about business credit. I gotta tell you, when I originally started you know, my business uh, a few years back, I didn't have business credit. I didn't necessarily believe in business credit because I'm like, hey, I was the type of guy where I like paying things in cash. And if I don't have uh, the, the actual cash on hand to pay for my ad spend or the equipment that I need, et cetera, then I'm gonna have to wait I gotta earn a lot more money, and then I'll go ahead and use that money to pay for it. In the beginning, that was great because, of course, I believe that, you know, I had to learn the disciplines that were necessary on how to actually take a dollar and turn it into three dollars. That's business 101, right? How do you take a dollar and turn it into three? Whether it be your sales skills, your marketing skills, you gotta have some sort of skill necessary to, to generate cash flow. Credit is not going to help you with cash flow. Let's start there. And what I mean by that, I believe that credit can help you pay for your ad spend, but if you don't know how to run ads, you're just going to be wasting your credit and it's not earning you back a dollar. You need to learn how to create cash flow with your mind and your skills of whether it's sales or marketing with little to no money. You learn those skills. Credit is meant to be an enhancement to those skills. So before I got business credit, I was in the trenches and I had to learn how to do the, the basics of being able to take a company from zero to 50,000 to 100,000 to 200,000, 300,000 and so forth. And then once I got access to business credit, man, the advantage was insane. So I will tell you before I talk about my story around getting business credit, I will tell you, if you're a new business owner watching this, if you don't have any skills at all and you try to go get credit and utilize it to be able to pay for something, you're most likely gonna lose because you don't know what you're doing. It's the same as we're talking about the stock market and somebody were to try to get a loan on margin, right? You try to marginalize against your portfolio and you don't know how to trade. Well, that's probably not a best idea. We gotta make sure that we're managing our risk. Starting a business is already risky. Getting business credit can, even be, can be even riskier because you're going into debt and you don't know how you're gonna make the money back. So make sure you have a bulletproof game plan in place. After a few years, you know, I'm building a franchise now and I'm realizing it's requiring a lot of capital to do. I obviously don't have any investors at the moment and it's all 100% it's all funded uh, by myself and just the cash flow that's being generated by the company. So with that, I'm like, man, business credit would help because number one, business credit frees up your cash flow. What that means is, let's say for example, I'm spending $10,000 a week on ad spend. Well, that means that if I have it coming directly out of my bank account, that if I'm making 20,000 a week, the business is generating 20K a week and I got 10,000 going out in, uh, in ad spend, that 10,000 is coming directly from my cash flow that's coming in. What happens if I run into an emergency where I actually needed that cash flow or an opportunity came up? Well, I just went to my ad spend because it's coming right out of my bank account. So imagine if I have a business credit card set up where now the ad spend doesn't touch my cash flow. It's, it's going against the credit that I have available and I now can decide to pay back the credit card, you know, whether it be on a monthly basis or however the payment plans are established, which frees up more cash flow necessary to be able to continue to grow the company. So it protects my cash flow, it frees it all up. And then after the protection of cash flow, again, it gives me a line of credit that's open so I can take advantage of bigger opportunities that I may not have the cash for today that I may be able to leverage. And then the third part to that is with business credit that I'll talk about is really just the actual points that you receive from spending money on your business. So as an example, before I had business credit, I was spending a lot of money on ad spend and I wasn't getting anything in return other than just, I spent money on ad spend, I was making money back. But business credit cards actually give you points for ad spend. So every dollar that I spend on Facebook ads, I could get a point towards my business credit card and I can redeem those points whether it be on flights, hotels, all types of stuff, right? And that's where I said, man, this business credit thing is fun. So let's talk about it. How do you actually now get business credit for those of you who have a bulletproof game plan, you know how you're gonna make your money, you have your product or service established and you're not just getting business credit and being super risky and irresponsible. So number one, you wanna get an LLC established. You're gonna need an LLC. And that's first. And I'm talking about traditional credit right now. I'm not talking about, uh, say, 
uh, the, the, the non-traditional ways. I'll talk about those in another video. This is a traditional way to get credit, like a Chase credit card, American Express business credit card, those type of things. So you need to have an LLC established, right? After your LLC is established, you're gonna, of course, need to have a business phone number too. And beyond that, the next thing to that is, you wanna make sure that uh, you set up, you register your company with Dun & Bradstreet. You wanna go to Dun & Bradstreet, set up your number, which is a Dun's number, and you wanna have that set up. The reason why is because a lot of the, 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 the credit card companies that you're going to, or the vendors that you're gonna to go to who you want business credit from, they're gonna be running against your Dun & Bradstreet number. A Dun & Bradstreet number is, is similar to your FICO score, personal. So a FICO score is like your, your TransUnion, Equifax, and Experience scores that you have personal-wise. A Dun's number is for business credit. You set that up a Dun's number, I don't believe it costs much money at all. And if you do pay Dun & Bradstreet, you could pay for the, uh, the fee for them to actually pull your credit, your, your business credit reports, and you're gonna see your paydex score. So a paydex score is basically similar to your FICO score. You know, I think your paydex score is anywhere from zero to 100. And if you're at, mine is about, my business paydex score is at 80 right now, which is, which is on a higher aspect of things, like having like a 700 personal credit score. That's how they're able to view if your business will have the ability to pay or if it's risky whether they should give you credit or not based on that paydex score and other factors from that once you got the llc established you got your business phone number set up and you set up your duns number at that point before you actually start applying for traditional credit um you could indeed just take the route of applying for like vendors i got a sunoco gas card okay and through the actual business a sunoco gas card this sunoco gas card company they'll report the payments that are being made each month to Dun & Bradstreet to show that I'm making my payments on time. Sunoco gas car is a little easier to get approved for without going through a ton of hoops and holes. It's just a gas car. So you can go to like vendors like, like your Sunoco gas cards. You can go to companies like uh, Uline, which is like a supplier. Um, they supply like, uh, like uh, office supplies and stuff like that. They normally have crediting systems that you can set up like net 30 accounts and things of that nature you start establishing with them first let them report that information now you're building up your business credit profile that's one of the ways to do it now let's say as an example though in my case i had good personal credit so before i applied for my business credit card i actually had a 750 personal credit score so now what ended up happening was i went to american express and i got this business credit card that's here right they made me what's called the personal guarantor on this card and what that means is when i filled out the information on behalf of the business they wanted my personal information too and they wanted me to put in my social security number because they were going to run my fico score on a personal level to see if i was worthy of receiving business credit so if you have good personal credit, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to get business credit to begin with because you can run it against your personal, uh, your personal credit and then in the meantime, it's building your business credit once you get it approved. So I, I was a personal guarantor in this Business American Express credit card. They ran my personal credit and then from there, they approved me immediately on the spot for this Amex business credit card, okay? And then I did the same exact thing and I did it for a Chase business credit card too. They ran my personal credit again for the Chase business credit card and I got that approved as well. Although my business credit score was not as high because I didn't have any open trade lines. That's another way that you can run this as well is through your personal credit and getting approved for business credit. And then you wanna make sure that these business credit cards like, like Amex, Chase, that they're reporting this information to your actual uh, done your 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 Dunn's number. So then it gets to a point where now when you're when you're applying for business credit, they'll they'll run it against your EIN number and your Dunn's number without your personal credit being associated. But in the beginning, you may have to use your personal credit to make the process a lot easier. Once I got approved for this American Express business credit card, I began using this for all of my ad spend, which again freed up a bunch of my cash flow where the money was not from the Aspen, it wasn't coming from my actual bank account anymore, which made things a lot easier for me, okay? Where now I'm able to pay back the American Express business credit card during the times that I, I have larger bulks of income to pay back and I'm able to have full control of my cash flow now. So I actually switched over all of the bills to this Amex business credit card to free up a ton of cash flow and pay it back at the times that I have the ability to um, ultimately still paying the whole thing back and making sure my payments are made on time it makes it a lot easier cash flow wise. The second part was now points. As I was running this American Express business credit card using all of the actual, uh, the, the business bills, the, uh, the, the ad spend, I ended up getting over 100,000 Amex points. 
Now, when I got these points, this is where I'm like, okay, business credit is, is insane. Not only is it free of cash flow, but I got points. I was able to redeem these points for a free hotel in New York, free hotel trip to New York, hotels paid for. I got complimentary breakfast, uh, drinks, all types of stuff and, uh, and flights and everything because of the points that I had available to be able to redeem just through me spending money on the business, on this business credit card. Now, if you're using a business debit card, you're not getting points because the bank is not giving it to you. Business credit cards do. So I found that was another advantage as well. And I'm like, man, this, this is amazing. So I use business credit for, for everything. I mean, I, I believe that you should too if you have a game plan set forth. I will, again, use this as a disclaimer. Do not get business credit if you don't have a game plan, if you do not have skill sets to make the money back, if you don't know how you're going to earn money at a quicker pace to be able to pay back your business credit cards this is not a game it's not something you should leverage if you don't if you know you don't have a plan set forth you're just setting yourself up for failure and more importantly you're going to be held responsible for not paying it and then your future is going to end up being messed up because now you owe money to these credit card companies and now you can't get approved for nothing so i would not recommend that unless you have a real plan in place, which I already did before I even got the business credit card to begin with and skill set set up too. So back to the beginning, you know, LLC, you wanna have an LLC established, have a business phone number set up, make sure you set up your Dun & Bradstreet account, your Dun's number, and then from that point, once those are all set up, open up some trade lines such as a Sunoco gas card, and there are other companies, like I said, like Uline and others that, that open up 30 net 30 accounts. And then again, if you have good personal credit, then you can also, at that rate with good personal credit, um, apply for business credit card, leveraging your personal credit to get the business credit card too, which makes this a lot easier for you. That's my experience around business credit. I've had business credit cards now for probably about, I wanna say a few months. It's been an amazing experience for me. Um, I wish I would've done it sooner, you know, but, uh, but, uh, but obviously I didn't need it at the time. And then um, I think that all business owners, you know, if you have a game plan in place, definitely get business credit, open up the cash flow for you, get the points at the same time, man, you're winning. So with that being said, that's the business credit. I'm Prince Donnell, founder of Jack USA. We're a millennial based wealth management franchise, helping clients with like yourself, small business owners with your monthly tax and accounting, insurance, your investments, and even free financial education such as this on platforms like YouTube. So with that said, see you next video. Peace.